Hello Redditors, welcome back to Tales Against Humanity. Now, let's get started. In today's episode. The Cup Holder Joke This story dates back to when I first started working tech support in the late 90s. These were the days of big beige boxes and CD drives that whirred in or out when you pressed the eject button. At the time, there was a joke about an old lady calling tech support to say that the cup holder on her computer had broken. I'm sure you've all heard it, but to ruin it for those who haven't, she thought the CD drive tray was a cup holder. Every IT worker thought it was funny the first time they heard it, manly because we all know users that stupid. The joke soon made it past the walls of the IT office, and suddenly you were being told the joke by every non-tech person who knew what you did. It gradually got less funny, although it was still worth a chuckle when you knew the person asking you had done things just as, or even more ridiculous. There was, however, always someone who took it too far. The office I worked at had polystyrene cups for hot drinks, you remember. The kind. The ones that have probably banned for being an environmental nightmare. They weren't great for drinking out of, and they broke if you happened to squeeze too hard. One funny guy, probably a broker or a middle-level accountant, loves the story and realized that the cups fit snugly in the cutout portion of the CD drive, so thought it would be hilarious to actually use it as a cup holder. When inserted about 1 slash 3 of the cup, protruded below the level of the dry tray, with the rest above. When I first spotted it I laughed politely and then asked him nicely not to. He, not so politely, refused. From that day, every time he saw me coming he would make sure his cup was sitting neatly in his fun new cup holder, and would point it out to me and everyone around him, eliciting gradually decreasing amounts of laughter. I asked him not to on several occasions, pointing out the danger of liquids around computers, but every time he refused to. Stop. I raised it with my boss, but the idiot was higher up the tree than both of us and our warnings went nowhere. After a couple of days I gave up. Probably a week later I was out on the floor and passing his desk so he stuck the cup in the drive and prepared to make a joke about it. He reached out to point at the cup and misjudged how far away it was, accidentally catching the eject button with his finger. The drive word, retraction the tray slowly but forcefully and neatly cut straight through the cup. Coffee went everywhere. Across his desk, into the CD drive, and through the grills on his PC. The PC emitted a quiet cracking noise and buzzed. With a pop his screen went out and smoke started to waft lightly from his desktop. I think he ended up having to pay to replace T-Story 2. Wrong web. So I have got a ticket how there is not working one website and how it's important, because he is in training and he needs to be trained as soon as possible so he can work. When I got there, I asked him to show me the problem, because the picture he have sent me didn't show up. So he show me how the website doesn't work. I ask him few questions, I check if he has the permission to the web, and then I ask him where he get the address. The colleague send it to him. So I am checking if there is problem with the Ethernet, firewall, trying different browser. The whole time he is telling me, I already tried this, and I did this also, I have been trying to do it over an hour. I then try to find the website in search, and I find a different address where there are swapped words and without a dot. Sure enough, the problem is solved. Guys, if your website doesn't work, check if you are connected and if you write the website correct. Story 3. Channeled my inner Kevin. I've been working at my current help desk job for a few years now and have learned a lot about guiding users through basic troubleshooting. One thing I've learned is to be very descriptive when explaining steps. On that vein, if I do not have the steps and screens memorized, I will follow along with the user on my own computer. When audibly explaining something, obviously not when I'm remoting to their computer. With the advent of COVID, we have been getting lots of practice walking users through troubleshooting, but for some reason a few screens will not stick in my head so I was following along. I'll be me, customer to see me. Thank you blah blah greeting authenticated customer and got their contact information. Me. What can I help you with? See. I am working remote and got kicked off, having trouble getting reconnected. Me. Okay, so the first thing we do, what follows is the standard connection troubleshooting. After ruling out their home network, we got it narrowed down to the laptop. Me. Okay, so we are going to try disabling and re-enabling the Wi-Fi adapter. Open device manager, 
and expand the network adapters. Right-click on the Insert Generic Wi-Fi card here and click on Disable. See? OK, I've disabled it. How long do I wait before re-enabling it? Me. You can go ahead and re-enable yours. I just have to figure out a way to do the same thing on my office computer. Thankfully, it was near the end of my shift, so I drove into an empty office to re-enable the network adapter on the machine I remote to. To make it even more embarrassing, my door card wasn't working so I had to call the on-site 24x7 person to let me in which meant having to explain why I was there. Story 4. But I am John. Hello. It's my first time posting here. Please tell me if my story doesn't fit here slash would be better somewhere else. Names changed for privacy reasons. English is not my first language, I'm on mobile, you know the works. Also, I don't work IT, but I have a gut feeling you guys will relate to what I had to suffer through. As I said I'm not IT, but on my last job I kind of was. I of Havavla. Why? Was called to solve everything that didn't need to physically open the computer. So install programs, do some Google searches, update drivers, download files, save backups, fix the internet, I just went through Windows troubleshoot, etc. Small things like that. This story is about the time I had to log into someone's Facebook. For reasons, we needed admin access to a certain page, but we only had editor access through John's profile. John was an old man, ironically had it background, but couldn't understand modern technology to save his life. So, naturally, I was called to solve it, it's your problem now. Oh well, here we go. First thing I did was log into John's profile, he gave me his email and password, and make sure he was only an editor. I confirmed that, but also could see who was admin John. So John had two profiles, like all old people might be required to have, and I didn't have the password to the second one I tried. So I called him. Me. Good morning Mr. Smith, how is your day going? Small talk, yada yada, so I need to log into your profile. John. Oh yeah, but I already gave you my info. Me. Yeah, but it's for your second profile. John, sorry. What? Me, you know, the one where you're wearing suit and tie on your profile picture. John, uh, me, the one you're married to your wife. John, I, me, this one. Send link, John, hey, that's my profile. Me, yes see, I need the password for this account. John, oh yes but that's my personal account. I don't use it. Please use the one I gave you. Me, but that one isn't administrator. John, hold on. Typing noises, clicking noises. It says here that the administrator is John Smith. That's me. Me, why yes, but you know what? Are you logged into your second profile right now? May I remote in and check? John, of course. I remoted in and he was logged to the wrong profile, of course. So I asked him to log to the other one and sent the link again. Mr. Smith, with all this tech knowledge, clicked on the profile link and said happily, Here, I'm in, do your work. I said, Mr. Smith, that's not the profile I need. He said, genuinely confused as to why I was so slow and why I was making this difficult, but it's me. I'm John. It's my picture, my name, the school I graduated in. Everything is here. It's my personal profile, John Smith. I'm John. And this point I noticed maybe I wasn't earning enough. I eventually managed to convince him to reset his password, told him how profile works, not sure if he got it. Got in and gave admin access to his other profile, his wife and my boss, the one who requested this whole mess to begin with. Is this what you need to go through every day? I lost like 10 years of life with that stress. And he was nice. Can't imagine what I would do if he got angry out of the sudden like I've read around here.